Ah, oh, well, cheers. And how you do, Buckaroos? How the heck are you? So I'm sitting in my kitchen, um, having a beer. This is uh, the it's a version of Mother's uh, Milk. Uh, it is 11% uh, ABV. It's the Imperial Coffee. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not a Milk. It's Imperial Coffee Stat Amaro grind. But it is 11%. Is a collaboration series with Jay Rieger, or Jay Rieger rather. But it's it's not the whiskey. It's the the coffee liqueur. I actually had a glass of this at the brewery, but I didn't do a video on it. So I'm sitting here with a friend, Jefferson Evans. Hello. Who's visiting um, off camera here. Jeff, you're going to be my Ed McMahon for this one. Be off camera. So you're talking. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks for playing, man. So I get, well, I get a lot of coffee on the nose. I get coffee. Actually, I get some cream notes, too. Are you feeling that as well, or is that just me? I also get, like, the... A bit of fruitiness, like from like chocolate with like fruity liqueur, mm -hmm. yeah, filling, yeah. Uh -huh. Like I'm gonna I'll get a note like that, yeah. And Almost raisin like, yeah, cherry raisin. It's toffee, one, hmm? toffee. To I was gonna say toffee. caramel, caramel yeah, okay. toffee. Yep. Yeah. I think it's wonderfully soft on the mouth feel. I like that about it a lot. Oh, yeah, I agree. I had a drink till just then. Uh, but, yeah, you're right. The yeah, this is very soft, isn't it? Very yeah. soft. Uh, would you, how would you, I, I always struggle with how to describe that, either silky or velvety, either word. I'm not sure. What, what would you, what word would you use? Um, I think those are both good terms, but I think just soft is the, is soft. This, you, yeah. like, you know it when you taste it. Uh, and what, what a certain brewery does to achieve that, I don't know. I do but there like, are some chocolatey notes, right? And I like that the I mean the alcohol is well integrated because uh, it, it is eleven percent. It's not too hot. Um, it's not a heavy or thick beer, but it's also not a thin beer. It's like yeah. a nice in between. Um, it's well done. I like it quite a bit. Certainly full body, but it's not heavy. Full body, but not heavy. Yeah. Nice. See, Dan I, got, I got an expert behind me now, boys. <laughs> Dan dangerously drinkable. It is dangerous because, yeah, it does hide that 11 pretty well. Yeah. yeah. It's not, I mean, you can tell there's some alcohol in here, but it's not uh, boozy in a bad way. No. I also think it'd be probably amazing as a part of an ice cream float. Oh, see? You know, that He's right. chocolate coffee and a bit of fruity notes going on. I'd say some uh, a, a good quality vanilla bean ice cream. Yeah, exactly. That would be amazing. Oh, yeah. See, now we got something here. <laughs> I don't want to run long, but I hadn't done a video with this beer that we just popped. I brought a few selections out to, uh, to, to drink with Jeff here, and I didn't want to do videos all night, so I don't want to do don't want to run long, but I did want to make sure I capture this particular beer on video. So thanks, Jefferson, for being my voice uh, off camera. Well. I am Don Beer Whisperer. You all know the spiel from here, right? Say it with me. I am Don Beer Whisperer. Beer evangelist, prolific beer drinker, purveyor, wisdom, and... All right, oh, good guy. You all have a good one. Huzzah!